This video will cover the following objector from Cardiovascular Physiology Part 2 Blood Vessels, describe the role of the baroreceptor reflex in regulating blood pressure. The baroreceptors are sensory receptors located within the large arteries of the aortic arch and the carotid sinus. These receptors are monitoring the mean arterial pressure and relaying that information in to the cardiovascular control centers in the medulla oblongata. This slide summarizes the baroreceptor reflex arc in response to a low mean arterial pressure when this decrease in pressure is detected by the baroreceptors in the carotid sinus and the aortic arch. This will lead to decreased frequency of action potentials in the visceral sensory fibers. The afferent pathway, which is the visceral sensory fibers found in cranial nerves 9 and cranial nerve 10. Cranial nerve 9 is the glossopharyngeal nerve traveling from the carotid sinus, whereas cranial nerve number 10 carries the sensory fibers coming from the arch of the aorta. Cranial nerve 10 is known as the vagus nerve. And so in the illustration, I just focused on showing the vagus nerve traveling from the arch of the aorta, but the glossopharyngeal nerve would also be carrying this afferent pathway just coming from the carotid sinus. So the decreased frequency of action potentials in these afferent fibers is relaying the information into the control center in the medulla oblongata, and then the medulla oblongata stimulates the sympathetic nervous system as an efferent pathway, the sympathetic nervous system will stimulate the heart and stimulate the arterioles, the effector organs, in order to produce a response, increasing the mean arterial pressure to restore the homeostatic set point. The heart will increase heart rate and stroke volume, leading to increased cardiac output. At the same time, the systemic arterioles can, can have vasoconstriction in order to stimulate an increased total peripheral resistance. Information from the baroreceptors is used to regulate the mean arterial pressure when the cardiovascular control centers detect the change in the mean arterial pressure from the homeostatic set point, they can trigger compensatory responses. In the example here we see the baroreceptor reflex mechanism in response to a decrease in blood pressure. When the baroreceptors of the carotid sinus and aortic arch detect a decrease in the mean arterial pressure, that is going to cause a, a decrease in the firing rate of action potentials of those afferent fibers in the glossopharyngeal and vagus nerves that relays this information into the cardiovascular control centers of the medulla oblongata and leads to a decreased activity of the cardiac inhibitory center which regulates the parasympathetic fibers controlling heart rate and increase activity of the cardiac accelerator centers that stimulate the sympathetic efferent fibers that regulate cardiac output. And this also increases activity in the vasomotor center, which stimulates the sympathetic efferent fibers traveling to the blood vessels to the small blood vessels called arterioles. And 
happens. So a decrease in mean arterial pressure is being processed by the cardiovascular control centers in the medulla oblongata and leads to increased sympathetic nervous system activity and that increased sympathetic nervous system activity increases the heart rate and the stroke volume and also causes vasoconstriction, increasing the vascular resistance or the total peripheral resistance, the resistance to blood flow through the vessels. And these mechanisms work together to restore blood pressure, increasing the mean arterial pressure back to the homeostatic set point. In response to increased stretching of the carotid sinus detected by the baroreceptors, an increased frequency of action potentials is relayed in through the afferent pathway found in the glossopharyngeal and vagus nerves that carry information into the medulla oblongata, the control center that will then stimulate the parasympathetic efferent pathway, which also travels out through the vagus nerve, carrying the information down to the heart where the postganglionic parasympathetic fibers will release acetylcholine in the SA node and AV node, leading to a decreased heart rate. Decreasing heart rate then contributes to a decrease in cardiac output that helps to lower the mean arterial pressure and restore the homeostatic set point. In response to an increased mean arterial pressure detected by the baroreceptors as increased stretching of the aortic arch and carotid sinus, the visceral afferent fibers will have an increased frequency of action potentials and relay the information into the medulla oblongata to stimulate the cardiac inhibitory center that will activate the parasympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system to stimulate the release of acetylcholine in the SA node and AV node of the heart, which has the effect of decreasing the heart rate. And this is the primary way that the parasympathetic nervous system can cause a decrease in blood pressure to help maintain homeostasis of the mean arterial pressure. Although at the same time, in response to increased blood pressure, the cardiac accelerator centers and vasomotor, vasomotor centers will have decreased activity, leading to decreased sympathetic nervous system activity, um, which also will contribute to a decrease in cardiac output and an increase in vasodilation, which decreases the total peripheral resistance.